All right, what's going on, guys? We are going to try our hand at MTG Arena again. If you guys uh, checked it out, uh, you might have seen on my YouTube channel that we uh, posted our day one impressions. Uh, they weren't great. There was quite a bit of frustration and complaints, and I, you guys, you guys uh, responded to that in the comments, of course, as you do. Even though we expressed that it was going to be our first impressions, and I was trying to be as natural as possible. Um, but now we're going to be uh, giving it another chance because apparently a lot of the lag is gone. And uh, you're not going to get accustomed to a, a client like this, a program like this, without actually just being, you know, doing the, do, doing the iterations, you know. So we have kill 20 of your opponent's creatures, cast 12 green or blue spells, and win two games with a green-white deck. So we can take care of both of these with one with a green-white green, green deck. So that's pretty good. So let's build a green-white deck. And I still have no pre-cons, which is pretty sweet. Um, and by, by, by pretty sweet, I mean... Kind of frustrating, um, because you can actually see all these other players who have pre-cons. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do? Sometimes you just don't get any pre-cons. Put a baffling end in here. I feel like we just go for rares first, right? 24 planes. I really don't want you to do that. And then do you just have to click them all out? I still don't understand. Like, I'm going to be confused again today, guys. Apologies for that. But um, just trying to figure out, like, why is, why is, way is. That's my question. Right, like that's what I don't understand. You have to turn it off every time. If you don't, it's really weird because there's no option for it. Like your options, like this is this is the other frustrating part. There's no gameplay options. It's sound and graphics. Like, what? So if there's a way to turn it off every time, I don't know where it is. I don't know how I don't have pre-constructed decks. You got me. Eh, Thunderhead doesn't seem great. The problem with building a deck right now, like, is, like, I can't have any real focus because I have no idea what's even good. And the reason I have no idea what's good is because I don't know what I have. So, like... I'm just like putting in some of the best cards I have and hoping that it fills out a deck, which is not really a great way to make a deck, which is really weird. And that's the end, all right. I'll put in the single Oketra's monument that we have. That seems pretty okay. I feel like I'm always going to put in two Evolving Wilds, but... Uh... This is also the weird part about decks with, like... Like, because Magic is a, is, a, is a game where you need lands, right? So I can't just look at this. Like, if you look at a game like Elder Scrolls Legends or Hearthstone, you have this on the side, which is totally normal, right? Like, you can see your whole deck and you can see the curve. It's a lot harder to see it here, though, because you don't know how many lands you have unless you click on this, right? Does it say lands? Ten. Okay, ten lands. Which is just one extra step, you know? How do I... Okay. Nope. 
No, no, I definitely don't want that. Or alternatively, you can click on here and it should show you 10 lands, yeah. But it's just extra steps you have to go through. And like, you have to consider how many times you're going to be making decks uh, on the client. And it just, it adds up, you know? I mean, do I just play Angel because it's like our, like, because we're just playing all the rares we have? I don't even know. Someone correct me on this if I'm wrong, but the overall format is Omnicad, Exelon, Block, Construct. Yeah, I mean, because I mean, that's the only cards that are available, so it has to be, right? It is more like block sealed, yeah, because of the the lack of cards everyone has. So I'm gonna need about 14 more lands, which is a 45. So we need 15 more cards. Good lord. That guy seems good. You're a rare, sure. Well, I want to give the game a fair shake. How do I get lands again? I guess this is the button. I guess this is land. <laughs> it's just funny. Um I'll do one of each desert just in case. So that's 12 lands. Can we, how do we know what, I guess we can go here. Um, 13, higher green than white. I guess we can just go even. I don't think it matters if we just go even. Three, one, two, three. Two, one, two, one, and one. Sure. So 11, we still need 11 more cards. Good Lord. Uh, we have wild cards. I just don't feel like using them yet because I have no idea what we're going to be making. Yeah, that's me in that Dolly Parton voice too, buddy. You are not wrong, Quacker. Oh, I don't want blue. I want white and green so we can actually get some so we can get some treasures today. I might just want... We don't have any dinosaurs. Otherwise, I'd play Drover. I'd also play Thunderherd. I guess we do have some dinosaurs. We have Brontodon, Raging Raptors. I, I think that's it, though. Guy's still pretty fine, though. It's a it's a ramp guy. It's better than Naga Vitalist. We have a Savage Stomp that we can play. Two Stomperinos. Okay, we can do that. Well, 
We'll put the path in there for you guys. I'm tempted to just play this guy because he's a 4 4 4 4, but. We're, like, we're playing constructed, right? Like, <laughs> this isn't limited. Even though it feels like limited because we just have such a, a, lim a quote unquote limited card pool. What are we missing? Eh, curve looks decent. I mean, we could play Tenderfoot Dryad. I don't know if it's any Tender Shoot Dryad, but I don't know if it's. Again, it's like we're in we're in standard, so it's hard to like. Well, not standard. I guess it's Amonkhet, Inish, uh, Ixalan block constructed, but I can't believe we still need six cards. But then I keep forgetting that we only have like all these are one ups. So while it seems like we've added a lot of cards, I'm gonna add three of this guy. Where's all? Let's look for Explore. That's it, huh? All right. Well. Done. Um, home. Play. Where's my other deck? Why can't I select the other deck that I just made? Okay, we're 60 cards. Click the deck after play, it's not there. <laughs> That's my point. I don't want this deck, I want the other deck that I just made. No, what? What? Wait, why would it... Let's rename this and see, and let's let's just show what happens there. Okay, so... Sure, these are fine names. Okay. What? Save the changes. Sure. So I want to click on this. And in order to select the deck I want, I have to click on blue-black control. That's weird. I don't know, man. Like, I hate to be... I hate to complain. I really do. It's not fun. I don't enjoy it. But when something seems that unintuitive... What am I waiting for right now? I understand that it's a selected deck. Like, I don't think... I think it's normal. I don't think it's... I don't think that's an abnormal behavior. I'm saying that it's weird to be... It's not intuitive. <laughs> All right. Okay, this has been... This is alright. I played this guy. That seemed fine. I didn't ha I tapped the mana, and then I put this guy into play, and I didn't have to add the other mana here. That was nice. Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I wish these avatars were smaller, though, because, like, I don't think the avatar should ever cover the land. Or the search for Ezkanta. Oh, it's my turn again.
Uh, I don't think, not only did I not get the pre-made decks, I don't even know if I got the cards for the pre-made decks. I don't know how they, I don't know what the contents of them are. But it doesn't feel like I have enough cards to have pre-made decks. Especially not 10 of them. Uh, I don't know if I'm using full manual mode. I thought full manual, I thought full control was, it would show up here. Oh, you're going to doom fall me. I got gotcha. you. What did they take? Oh, my kitty cat. Uh, what? Mana. I'll be honest with you, this has been a much better experience than yesterday, or than Thursday. I have no idea what changed. There's been a... It feels like things are smoother. Um, I don't know if they made any functional changes in the past two days. But, um... I don't hate it as much. I'm not a big fan of these graphics here, though. Like, they definitely look like they're out of, like, EverQuest. Which is rough. Well, it's not only the heavy lag on the day we were allowed to stream. It's not just that. Like, there was also, like, I would go play a spell, and then I would tap the mana for it, and then it would ask, the mana would show up here, and it would ask me to also pay for the mana. So. Huh. Let this go to combat. Uh, let's go to attacks. Alright. Dos attackerinos. Damage. Two bops. This guy's getting huge. I can't tell if it's waiting for me. Oh, it's, it's waiting for the opponent. I wish there was... Is there a way that we can tell if they're waiting for the opponent? Like, I want to use this guy, but I don't know if they're going to be able to kill it before... And like, like, if they try to kill this, I don't know if they're going to let me... Oh, all right. I guess we do get to respond to things. All right, run your end steps. So we're going to make some babies. Wait, what? That was my end step? <sighs> sure. I guess it doesn't matter, but... All right, the aura around the avatar means it's your turn. All right, well... I don't know how good that is, but... It's all things you have to get used to. It's like tiny things that you don't notice at first, but then you you grow to notice them the longer you play. Yep. You can play both of those guys. That's pretty good. Uh, mana, mana, mana. 
Oh, God. You like how I tap two forests for this guy? So now I have to take a damage. Oh, did you hear that dinosaur sound? <laughs> good times, good times. And we won a game. God, we're good at this game. Yeah, I'll claim that. Oh, a Grasping Scoundrel, like you do. Kill 20 creatures, huh? No, I don't see that happening. All right, we're getting there. It's it's smoother. We're having an altogether smoother experience right now. Uh, Sarah, Arena is definitely still in beta. Wow, look at this Almond Kid background. Um, keep. Snap keep, you might say. <laughs> oh my god, the pizza. What's up, Michael? Michael, it's Grandma. Man, all the blue decks. I don't like that they don't actually say things. Like, it's just a boring hello text. Give me some personality, please. Are you going to censor this? You can't censor. Just let my cat resolve. I guess we can enter the unknown in this guy. Oh, graveyard. Kapow. I think we're gonna upkeep Scry to try to find something. I guess we'll have to put a stop there, because otherwise it's gonna go straight to our Doomfall. My hand is not that exciting, I guarantee you. Step? All right. God, that's not the one. When I did that, can they see it? Yeah, it seems like exiling the Adorn the Adorn Pounce would have been better, but they probably just have like uh, golden demise to get rid of our guys. So. 
Here we go. Golden Demise time. Or they don't have anything. All right, well. After watching a lot of the people stream Marina and give their feedback, it annoys me to no end with the people who are annoying that the client is 100%. Like, it's still in a beta stage. No one was complaining when a game like Overwatch was in beta and things didn't look perfect or sound perfect as long as the cards do what they're supposed to. Um, okay, so here's the thing about that. Um, a game like Overwatch is made by a company like Blizzard. Uh, Blizzard does everything exceptionally well, and they don't release something until it's 100%. Uh, Wizards is not a game company. And you've had Magic Online, the original Magic Online. You had version 3 Magic Online. You have the new Magic Online. You have Wizard, you have Duels. Uh, you have this... And all of those were not really that great. I hate to say it. But, like, so you're you're talking about a company that doesn't have a super solid reputation for uh, making software. And people are actually, like, there's a history for it. It's not just, like, it's not random. It's not like people are just complaining to complain. Uh, people are complaining because Wizards has a history of, of not putting the, the requisite resources and care and and attention to detail into their digital offerings as any other company that is a software company. Um, so people are, 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 you know, reluctant. And with good reason. Whereas if I have, if there's a company like Blizzard making a game like Overwatch, you know, all I have to do is look at StarCraft. All I have to do is look at World of Warcraft. All I have to do is look at Warcraft. All I have to do is look at Hearthstone. And then I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, it may not work now, but it'll definitely work when it's done. You know, meanwhile, you look at Magic and you're like, oh, well, I'm going to look at version 3 or version 4 or whatever version we're on of Magic Online. And that's my frame of reference. <laughs> so it's like... You know, it, it, it also, you have to take into consideration the, the history of trust that those companies have with their digital offerings. Bottom. Yeah, majority of betas are just glorified demos. That's, that's actually super true. Um... My turn. Oh, I drew a forest. That's a good one. I should have just, just treasure mapped again, I guess. I don't actually want this guy. We'll put you on the bottom. Yeah, I'll put this guy first. I do not imagine there is a release date.
Oh, a chupacabra. Dang, that's rude. It's interesting that these go to your hand afterwards. I mean, it's obviously not in my hand, and they're, they're not going to show up to my opponent. So I basically have no cards in hand. But I have things to do, which is interesting. Ooh, is that good? So I have one, two, three, I have six mana. Ooh, 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 ooh. I really want to know. All right, this is not an option. Actually, we could draw two. It's probably just Pouncer, though, right? Actually, we have, seven, we have wait, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we could actually go Catcher's Monument, Doran Pouncer. Doesn't doesn't trigger though. I almost rather go Path. And then we'll play with Catcher's Monument with one token. Um, yeah, we'll attack. If you want to double block, that's fine. Watsy does not have the greatest software track record, that is true. Two lands away from casting that champion again, so that's good. All white dudes are Jade Light Rangels. Yeah, like you make a 1-1 one, one and you and you explore once. So that's pretty good. I like that Feed isn't super exciting, but it does draw us two cards. Three if we play Pouncer first. You got it. Uh, free packs are pretty pretty rough, as, usual, as any um, random free pack usually is. So... Um... They have essence scatter, that's the question. Eh, we'll just kill this guy. I don't like I really don't trust them not having uh a an essence scatter. Oh, put that on the library. End the turn. Uh, Mike, this is actually constructed right now. This is not limited. 
Um, it just seems like limited because there's like there's literally a limited card pool. Not a card pool. Um, there's Ixalan and there's Amonkhet available, and the and their and their other sets like Rivals of Ixalan and, and Hour of Devastation. But people don't have all the cards yet, so. I knew they had it. Yep. Like you do. Oh, graveyard. There are five, though. Seems pretty good. I don't even know what card for card this deck would be because we're we're just playing a I think they're dead now. You can draw a card. I'll allow it. What does this timer mean? This is Xaxes. Got him! I didn't see the GG's. That's weird. That was a good Dire Fleet Captain noise. Alright, now we're on kill 20 of the opponent's creatures. Maybe we play a different deck to do that one. Give me a quest! Can we make a red-black deck that just kills all the things? Let's see. Let's find out. How aggressive can we make our decks, I wonder? I'm just going to make the most aggressive pirate deck. I was just thinking that. I'm like, okay, so if I magma spray their guy and it dies, does that not count? Because that's weird. Now I don't want magma spray in here. So I guess I click on this and take out the sprays. Nope. Oh, I have to do this every single time, dude? If I have to click 24 times every time I build a deck just because I don't want them to auto-include the lands, that's going to be real frustrating. You know, just saying.
Raven, how do you turn off auto include lands? Like for good. It's not it's not in the options. But like you click it and it turns it off, but it doesn't stay off. So I don't know how to do it for good. play this dude yeah because we did it we did it for the last deck we had we clicked on uh turn off auto include and then it just turned right back on this game like it it did it yesterday too so i don't think it's a it's probably just a bug they'll probably just fix it which is fine I don't even think I want Cinder Baron, to be quite honest. I don't want lands coming to play tap because we have a bunch of one drops, so. Interesting. I have no black deserts here. I mean, it should just be an option. It should just be in the option menu because what if you want to turn it back on, right? Like, then, like, it should just be a toggle. Just put it as an option so that people can turn it on and off if they want to. colors looking like significantly more black than red so say 10 say 11 9 and then two of uh so 22 land seems fine what's our pirate count pirate 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 Is this 60? Doesn't tell me anywhere? Okay. Nope. Alright, now I know. <laughs> That's how I can find out, I guess. One more card. Alright. Could just be Dead Eye Tracker, but I don't want to spend the mana for that guy. Hmm. Actually, don't hate Cutlass. It's actually pretty good. All right, let's do that. Let's call you Red Black Aggro Black. Red Aggro. Look at all our decks that are not pre-made because we never get in, didn't get any pre-made decks. We have one abrade, so we just put the one abrade in. Sure. Not great. Oh, um. <sighs> 
No. Did I put Burning Sun's avatar? Good lord. That was really ambitious of me. It seems like all opponents are on blue-black because they, they probably think that you can just get free wins of Scarab God in this format. This format being uh, whatever this is. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's weird that you have to click specifically on their life total, but I guess it's just the thing I'll get used to. Nathan, what's going on, buddy? Sure. Well. We need to play. I don't know what's good or not. <laughs> oh, man. It's This format's actually great. This is like the best of limited and the best of standard because I can just throw all my terrible standard cards in a deck. This is like kitchen table magic right now. Tesseract 1, it's definitely a little better. Um, I, I, I think my complaining has been at a minimum. It's mostly cosmetic stuff at this point. I still don't know what this clock is. Like, what is this? What? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Alright, well we're doing good here with the lands. Block here, gain some life. I thought this was the guy that gained plus one, plus O oh when it attacked. Not the guy that has... Whatever, maybe they don't block. They have to block, right? Oh, you're going to block here. That's even better. Oh, that's great. Get rewarded. Land one time. Not a land. All right. It always tells your opponent you don't have anything because it just rushes through their th through your turn when you're done. It's really weird. It looked like you just stabbed this secret squire, but nothing really happened. So that's weird. I also don't think we can beat an active Vana. Got a lifelink, right? Yeah, this card's great. Yeah, it's either yeah, you can set it where you have full control, but that's not the point. Like, I don't want to have full control and have to like click through every single thing. It's it's either all or nothing, right? That's my issue. Like, I don't want to click through every single thing. I just don't want to skip my turn when I have nothing, so they know I have nothing. Like, it shouldn't be like, well, can you not skip my turn so that they can maybe I can bluff a little bit? Um. No, you'd have to have full control on and literally click through everything. Well, that's a real, it's a really all or nothing situation. Yeah, we're going to just concede here. All right, let's actually edit this deck a little bit. I don't want Burning Suns. Dirt burger in this deck. I also don't. Maybe the Sun Scorch Deserts are a little too aggressive here. Well, I wanted to add more of those, but I guess that's not an option. <laughs> All right. That was ambitious, I guess. Um. This high-res art is great, but...
Uh, these are wild cards. You can make a rare with this, you can make uncommons with these, and you can make commons with these. Yeah, it's kind of like a dust gimmick. Hold on, we'll put a supernatural stamina on the deck. Yeah, a lot of things are not very clear, which is interesting. That seems like, um, <laughs> kind of a UI thing, right? Like, I mean, you know, your job is to literally make it intuitive, where I look at this and I know exactly what it is or what it's supposed to do or what's going to happen when I click it, and a lot of it does not seem to be that way. Okay. I can't imagine just running this guy out there as a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> wow, you guys are amazing. Oh my god, is this a bit you guys do? Wow, fashion relate to the party, huh? She is so dead. That was rude. I miss having lands, I'll be honest with you guys. Here's the bid for you, wow. <laughs> Please be a swamp on top. Thank you. Alright, we did it. Sorry, is this just a 5-5? Five, five? That thing is huge. Um, I guess you can stay back. There's no real point to that. Aggressive. What are the odds they have an essence scatter? One hundred percent. Rude. I guess we just can't attack now. They just go block three four block two two or block two two block two two. They take three. Hmm. 
I guess it wasn't an essence scatter. That's a fair point. You know. They have two cards in hand. That's pretty good. Next time we can alpha play Dire Fleet Captain Bone Picker. That's pretty good. And that guy if we had three swamps and two mountains instead. Nope. Nope. They're going to get rid of the 2-2, two -two, right? Interesting. So if we play this, they just actually kill it with the essence, with the magma spray that they're going to draw. We'll just play this guy. You have one card in hand, it's Magma Spray. Alright. Does killing their creatures count if we just attack into them? Because... Yeah, having Magma Spray is pretty rough, because both these guys are 3 threes. Like, they can just go block, block, magma spray this guy, and then we just lose our guy. Cancel. Alright. Good to know. Hmm. How nice. For each other attacking pirate, so you're gonna get what? Maybe five five? So with the trigger on the stack, they could actually kill this with the magma spray. Makes these guys a three three, they go block here. Block here. <laughs> Take two. And then we just have these two guys left. That seems pretty bad. We just end turn here. Did they not do anything? Just went back to our turn? Oh, it's in their attacking phase. Sure. <laughs> Anything with the word whenever in front of it is a trigger. No. Static effects... Uh, 
would not wait. What? Oh, timeout used. Whatever. They're not even attacking. Why would I block? What's going on right now? Nice draw. Game Crank, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome. How many Dire Fleet captains is too many, you think? How am I enjoying Arena so far? I don't know. I mean, for me, it doesn't, um, it doesn't sate my, in, my, my desire for, like, magic online. Like, it doesn't, why is it still here? Get out of here. I mean, I'm sure this guy just gets magma sprayed, but whatever. Like, we can't just hold it forever. Hmm. Hey, that's pretty good. So now they can cancel it, which is fine. Or they just let it die, okay. Choose target opponent of the one of the two opponents of the one opponent I have. Man. Still have cancel, still have magma spray, okay. Alright, that was an interesting choice. Unless you're going to wipe the board here somehow. Sure. Come on. Found a removal spell. Yep. Oh, cool. Pump spells and, and removal spells. The turn after they wipe our board. It's good to see our luck does not only uh, does not only exist in Magic Online. It also exists in duels.
Oh, I don't know if I killed those creatures. I just don't care about a 2 2 at this point. Oh, in the turn. We have five cards. One of them is a known counter spell. See, this should be blue on our turn and red on their turn, right? But when I click it, it turns red. So that's not the case. Like it should, the color should indicate what turn you're in. So I don't have to like look down here and then look over here to the bar and then look up here to your bar and like to, to find out the, the turn. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm being nitpicky. I don't know. I think streamlining things like this are just, that's how you want to be. Like you want to, you want to be at a place where it's streamlined and you can know exactly all the information you have at a glance without having to like deduce it from multiple different sources. Sure. Are you going to cancel my thing? Yep. Is that a block? I actually thought this was a pirate, because why wouldn't I? <laughs> yep. Alright, you got it. Don't care. It almost feels like you're doing... It, you're doing things longer. Like, it takes longer to do things. Like, that game was grinding. Like, toward the end... Where, like, we both had our things getting killed and, and whatnot. I was just like, all right, I feel like I'm dead now. Like, because I have to draw something, it has to get through, and I have to tap every land really slowly. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe maybe that'll be improved. Maybe it's just nitpicking. I'm not sure. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching part two. Uh, that'll be an, that'll, That's probably the end of my, uh, my MTG Arena experience for today. Because it's uh, been about an hour, and I don't want to make these videos too long. But if you guys haven't done so, slam those like and subscribe buttons. And uh, we'll see you next time.